Thanks to Triple Sleep TCG for sponsoring How to Play Majesty Lord Blaster in two minutes. This deck's main winning image focuses on beating down your opponent with Majesty Lord Blaster's first skill, which states that if you have a Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark and Soul, it gains plus 5k power, one critical, and a drive check. The critical also works on rearguard. Furthermore, it has a second ability which fuels its own skill that when attacking, you may put two rearguards into soul and get two imaginary gift force. This is primarily used to force one to create high numbers that your opponent can't guard. The reason why MLB is so good is because of all the searching, and here are all the blaster specific cards that do that. Starting off with a new order, when light and darkness intersects. You can play it as early as turn 2 if you have a blaster blade, and you search your deck for a blaster dark. If you have a blaster dark, you could search your deck for a blaster blade, and furthermore, if you have both blaster blade and blaster dark, you could search your deck for a majesty lord blaster. Starcold Trumpeter is one of the new cards out of the special deck which makes the whole deck go. When placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, you could Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1 to grab a card with Blaster and a copy of the order from your drop zone and put it into your hand. It also gains the ability to boost if you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its name. This makes an easy 28k column with an active Majesty Lord Blaster on Vanguard. Winkle Brave is super good because when the attack hits a Vanguard that it attacked or boosted, you can, free of cost, look at the top 7 cards of your deck and add a card with Blaster in its name among them into your hand. This is a straight plus because it stays on the field. The remaining slots in the deck are Generic Search and Maintaining Advantage cards. Leave Row when placed from hand allows you to Counter Blast 1 or Soul Blast 1 if you have no face of damage to search your deck for any grade 2 and call it to an open rear guard. Sisyllus when placed from hand is super important because it can check the top 5 cards of your deck and add a grade 3 among them into your hand. Since we have very less grade 3s in the deck, it helps out a lot. And finally, Marin. When another unit is placed in the same column as it, you can Counter Blast 1, it gains plus 3000 power, and you draw a card. The last spot in our deck is a power up card. Knight of Heavenly Spears Agonips is a solid power getting card for the deck because on Vanguard or Rearguard you can Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1 to give 2 units plus 10,000 power. Then if you have 4 cards in your damage zone, Counter Charge 1, giving your attacks even more power to force cards out of your opponent's hand. Our triggers are a standard lineup of 8 critical, 4 draw, and 4 heal. With all these images put together, this is our deck list. However, this is not the final build, just the starting build to help you branch out into MLB because of all the Royal Paladin variants out there. Finally, this deck is a lion because it could compete against all decks at all tiers with its ability to have innate criticals and force marker generation.